What up, y'all? It's Coco. It's Coco Stoop coming through. <laughs> Before we get started, I want y'all to give me some love and subscribe, all right? You guys subscribe right now. You know what I'm saying? Give me a watch. Give me a few watches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Without further ado, what does that even mean? Today we have Indian food. You guys love, 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 love Indian food. I do love, 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 love Indian food too. So today I have things that I've never tried before. I have did two Indian mukbangs on my channel already. You guys loved all of them to death. I have some chicken naan, some vegetable biryani. And since I have three meats here, that's why I just got um, vegetable biryani. I'm, I'm not sure which one is which, so I'm going to check my DoorDash here. Um... <laughs> These are just like the stuff that I've never tried and I saw it. I was like, oh, I wanted to try that. I've never tried it and I've never really read it <laughs> and I can't read it. Um, chicken gel frezzy. I think this is that one. Chicken gel frezzy. Or no, this is a goat. Goat. Yes. Uh, Vindaloo. And this is chicken Kashmiri. Chicken Kashmiri. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Just correct me if I'm wrong and don't yell at me. And then this is. Uh, chicken gel frezzy. Chicken gel frezzy, yeah. All right, let's start eating because this is going to be cold. Let's start with some rice. Mmm. Yummy. I like this spoon, so don't judge me. Everything here is spicy. Mmm. Let's start with just gel frezzy. Gel frezzy. So good. Mm. Yummy. It's hot. Oh my gosh. So the goat is like all bones, but here it is. Let's try. Honestly, you know what? Indian food though, I feel like they can like put anything in a container and say that it's like what you ordered <laughs> because you know like people have no idea what it is i mean at least me i have no idea what it is so when you put anything in the container i'd be like oh that's what i ordered but if not really i wouldn't i would never know all right the texture of the goat is like beef cheers Oh, hell no. Mm. That is so chewy. Why is it so chewy? Mm, the goat. Not a fan of the goat. I'm disappointed because that is actually more expensive. And it's the one that's like super bony. This is the cashmere. Cashmere? It's good. Yes, yummy. There's a lot of potatoes in the vegetable biryani. Hmm. Let's have some naan. Love naan. <coughs> oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yum. I always get the cheese now because it's like chewier and cheesier. Well, duh. It's cheese. But there's a certain texture that's like better. All right. Cheers. 
Cheers. Mmm. So good. I hate that there's a lot of potato in the biryani because there's just too much <laughs> potatoes. Like, I don't like potatoes when it's just like cubed and like plain. This is amazing. I was craving this today. That's why we got it. Mm. There's cauliflower here. Also, yesterday I felt so sick. Last night. Because you guys know, I usually go to the gym before all this coronavirus happened. I go to the gym around 8 a.m. You know, like it's the first thing that I'm going to do in the morning. And now it's like, I don't know what it is, but I get motivated at night to work out now. Just because I'm home. And I kind of like it because after the workout, it's like you just pass out. Well, I shower, but you don't have to do anything else. You just like go to your bed. Yeah. So last night, I did a mukbang, right? The death row mukbang. So I did that. And after, like, I did that mukbang around 4, and I worked out around, like, 9 p.m., So five, six, seven, eight, nine. It was five hours before I worked out. I was apparently I was still full because after working out I felt so nauseous because the food is still not it, like completely digested in my stomach. So if you guys it's just if you guys work out, make sure you have nothing in your stomach or like it's the first thing you do in the morning. I got really sick last night. Like, I needed to throw up. Okay. I'm gonna give the girl one more chance. Alright, this is the goat. It looks like beef. It's very chewy. <coughs> and I am not sure why it is very chewy. Mm -mm. I'm complaining. Ah. Okay. Now it's stuck in my teeth. Like, it's literally like beef, but like super tough and chewy. And now like the shreds of the beef are like stuck in my teeth. Ew. Ew, I'm never getting goat again. Hell no to the goat. It's stuck on my teeth. Mm. It's ruining my Indian experience. Yum. Yum, this is my favorite. I think it's not the Vendaloo, but... It starts with a J.
It's so good though. I don't know if it's like it's hot hot or like it's just like really spicy because it's burning my mouth. Ugh. I ordered this from the same Indian place where I ordered my last two mukbangs. And today when I ordered it, I saw the containers are like way smaller. But it's like the same price. I mean, I don't mind because I never finish it, but no. Should be cheaper, cause, the, cause these are all like, mm, like seventy nine. Mhm. Mm and I regret getting that goat. Hell no to the goat. Never getting goat again. I just really wanted to try it. But lamb is good. Beef is good. Chicken is good. Not the goat. Don't get the goat. Ooh, I'm getting so full. I swear this naan is the best. And this is my favorite. That's why I'm only eating this. <laughs> it's the best. It's like creamy, spicy, and like chicken. For me, the creamier, the better. Mm. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know I can pull, like, the bangs off. Because usually, like, bangs are, like, perfect for people who has, like, longer face shape. Like, V or, like, just way longer. Like, oval, 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 oval oh, whatever. Just, like, um way longer, like, face shape. And my face shape, as all of you guys know, is Asian, chubby, circle, ballish shape. So I didn't know I can pull this off. But the thing is, I made this bangs look good. It looks good right now because I'm skinny. But if I gain weight, like if I turn really circle here and like wide, this bangs is going to look like, I don't know, my face is going to look like coconut. Like coconut you know like the coconut ball <laughs> put the lime in the coconut I don't know what I just said good food guys good food mmm I live in, oh, I don't want to say where I live, but this is from, from all of my uh, viewers or subscribers that are from Minneapolis, Minnesota or Minnesota. This is from India Palace. They're a small business. I know they are. And the least we can do is promote the small businesses right now. Everybody is doing to go order or pick up. Well, not everybody, but most of them. So I know, I know all of you guys, you're not going to cook every day. You're not going to want to cook every day. You guys are lazy or sometimes you just don't want to cook. You don't, don't want to wash dishes. Like you just want to eat and that's pretty much it, right? That's like me. I don't want to do anything but like get my food, eat it, done. Throw it away. I don't want to wash dishes. I don't want to cook. I don't want to think. I don't want to chop. I don't want to like cut anything. You know what I mean? So small businesses, this is their time. Like they need us. We need, they need help. I mean, most of us need help. I'm unemployed, <laughs> but let's start to support small businesses more rather than going to McDonald's, you know, or Burger King or Wendy's corporate because the small businesses are who are really at most in need right now in the food industry. So let's help each other out, please. 
I support small businesses. That's why I'm not even doing any fast food right now. Well, the last fast food I did was, I think, Taco Bell. My mom is really scared of um, about me getting deliveries all the time. I don't do pickups. I just do delivery. And she's really scared. She's always like, oh my god, what if they have, like, the disease? And, you know, I mean, it is scary. What if they do? So I search it online, right? I'm not stupid. Like, of course I'm going to search if it's safe. Generally, they say it's safe. But they're not quite sure. Um, all the article says is mostly, like, it is from person-to-person -person contact and from the air droplets or something. Like when people sneeze and they're close to you. But the virus stays on the paper, plastic, and cardboard and metal. And cardboard is like 24 hours and plastic is like 72 hours. And metal is longer, like three days. So I have a package from Donut Pub. I was actually going to do a mukbang of that today. But I was like, I got it today. No, I need to wait. Let's wait. When I got the package, I sprayed it with sanitizing spray. That's not enough. I took the package with napkin. Took it inside just so nobody steals it. So it's inside right now. It's just sitting in the corner of my house somewhere. But still, like, what if I didn't sanitize, like, an area of it? I forgot, and there's, like, virus in there. So, and... For the fact that there is a package inside of that too, like a cardboard inside of that and the plastic inside of that. So, you know what I mean? There's just so much consideration too. There's just so much surface to consider on that package, especially it's food. So it's like, it gots to go inside me. But they say that if the virus goes in your food and you eat the food, it's not going to go through because the acid of your stomach will kill the virus. So... You know what I mean? But if it's if, if it goes to your nose or eyes, that's when it spreads. But just to make sure, I sprayed it. I sanitized it. And have a sanitizer wipes. So I sandy wipes it. I sprayed it. And now I'm going to wait for it to, to uh, sit there for like two days. So I'm sure there's no virus. Cheers. Better safe than sorry, right? I wish I had some chocolate. I'm really craving chocolate. I'm full. This is good food. First time having goat? No, thank you. Coco, not approved the goat. Say the goat one more time. The goat. No to the goat. Alright guys, I am tapping out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys.